Fahrenheit and Celsius. How do you figure out how they connect? How do these two systems connect? All I know is that the boiling point for Fahrenheit is 212 degrees. And the freezing point for Fahrenheit is 32 degrees. And that the boiling point for Celsius is 100 degrees. And the freezing point for Celsius is 0 degrees. That's all I know about these two systems. What can I learn from just these facts? Well, let's graph them and see what we can learn. Here's Celsius, here's, here's Fahrenheit, here's Celsius. Now, I'll put zero here and 100 degrees here for Celsius. And here's zero degrees Celsius for, here's the boiling point and here's the freezing point. Now, for Fahrenheit, the equivalent of zero degrees is 32 degrees. And the equivalent of, of the uh, 100 degrees for Celsius is this guy here, which is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So, what do you think we're going to do? Did you say, draw a line? Yes, draw a line. Connect these two. Let's see what we can learn. Well, let's first start with calculating slope, which would be change in y, delta y, or 212 minus 32 over delta x, which would be 100 minus 0. And what does that give us? 0 and 8 and 1. 180 over 100. That gives us 18 over 10. And let's save ourselves some space. Just divide by 10, and that gives us 1.8. Okay, I went right to left. Sorry. Now, what else do we know? Well, we know that the slope, that the formula for an equation is a um, straight line equation like this. A linear equation is y equals mx plus b. b is the y-intercept. y-intercept. That's an abbreviation. And the y-intercept is over here, 32. All right. So I know that's a plus 32. What else do I know? That the slope we just cal calculated was 1.8. And we don't have x, we have c. And our we don't have y, we have f. Fahrenheit is equal to 1.8 times Celsius plus 32. Is that true? Does that actually work? Well, let's figure out what would be the equivalent of 100 degrees Celsius? I'm going to put in for C, 100 degrees. That should give me 212. Let's find out. Um, how am I going to do this? I know. I'll get the old calculator up here. 1.8 times 100 equals 180 plus 32 equals 212. What do you know? It works. So, 
that equals 212. So the equivalent of 100 degrees Celsius is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, I scooched that data up there and put in my smiley face. And I say, thanks for listening. It's been fun.